All right, we are back on this uh, Dodge with the Cummings diesel engine that had the leak at the accumulator that only leaks when the metal is basically cold. It barely leaks when it's warm and high pressure, but when the pressure drops and the metal gets cold, it leaks like a freaking bus size hole in the side of a Hoover Dam. So another thing I wanna show you here, quality of dye that shops use. Usually when, uh, especially a cheap owner, he'll go and look at all these automotives dyes and he'll look, oh, this, this looks good. Oh fuck, that's expensive. Oh, let me grab this one. Ah, oh, this is the same color and it's only one quarter of the price. This is the good one because it's cheap. Well, this is one of those scenarios when one of those cheap guys come around. Now let's go the difference between lights too. Let's, uh, let's use this light right here. This is a very good light. Look inside. And I'm gonna put this right here. Let me zoom in. Let's focus. And one, two, three, it's on. You see a slight, go away, come back. Go away, come back. You see it, just a slight glow, but you could barely see it. Go away, come back. Go away, come back. This is in direct sunlight, okay? See it, it's on. So that's this one, and this is a good light. There is nothing wrong with this light. This is an excellent light. This is the one with the three stripes, the Opti Pro Max, excellent light, Tracer products, okay? Let me click it on. Let's focus back here again. There it goes, it's on. It's there. You see the dye glow a little bit? Just a little bit, you can barely see it. You see more of the purple than you actually do dye. Okay, so that was that one. So let's use this one. This is 400 nanometer. Let's get back there. Let's focus. You can see some of the purple light, but really you don't see the light glow. And that's from this one. Okay. Now let's get this other UV beast out here. Okay, let's get back there again. And that's on. You don't see it because it has a, a special filter in it. You see the dye glow down there? You see the difference? This is in direct sunlight. So this test is taken outside. There's the sun. Where are you, sun? Let me focus back. There's the sun, direct aim sunlight. And with this light for this type of dye and you could barely see it let me see right there so for this dye this light is the best choice and but overall it finds nothing here there's absolutely, there's no glowing going on down here. I don't find nothing, absolutely nothing at all. So this is one of those scenarios, especially this cheap, whatever dye they use, you could barely see it compared to my shit. I mean, come on, really guys? Look at that shit. This is the dye I purchase. I don't buy cheap shit. When you look at my stuff, we're talking direct sunlight. See, there's the fitting. Look at the difference. Those cheap ass low life bosses that own shops who always buy the cheapest shit they can. We got to get rid of those turds. Educate them or eradicate them. One or the other. Uh, so in this scenario, probably no matter how good your dye is, it wasn't going to find that leak. And whether it was under high pressure, it would not find that leak. Only after starting the vehicle, and when the metal got cold, it started leaking like that. Now that it's been sitting for a few minutes, it stopped leaking. There's no more new bubbles coming up. And the pressure is higher now. Instead of being 40 some PSI, it was 30, 40 some PSI before, it leaked like a sieve. And now that the pressure is high and the metal is warm, the leak has stopped. Okay, that's it. Your tip of the day. 
Don't be cheap on lights. You need many different types or many different types of dye. It doesn't matter if you buy a good dye. Remember, the rest of the world is not you. If you like to be above the pack and buy the best of the best, but the rest of the people are cheap, lazy, or they choose to be ignorant by not reading or testing, then um, you're up against a lot of competition. So buy many lights with many different uh, wavelengths of the UV spectrum, and hopefully you'll have one of the ones that somebody else used their dye for that will find it. All right, see you guys.